gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. And welcome back to another review by Zombie. This is going to be part two in the Horizon series. Now, this one is about the H7. So, there's no need for disclaimer on this one. So, we're just going to dive right down into it. Okay, so here is the H7 Claramizer by Horizon E6. And you can see there, it says bottom dual coil, double leak proof. Bottom dual coil, double leak proof. Hmm. I don't know why it says double leak proof. That's kind of odd. But... We'll go through this together. So basically on the back side, you get a swirly thing, and it says H7 Claramizer again. So you open it up, you get a little, little bitty instruction book here that shows you the H7 and how to uh, fill it up and how to uh, give you recommended settings for vaping it. And it also shows exactly how it breaks down. And here it is, the H7. Comes with uh, an additional coil head, which this is what the uh, coil head looks like right here. And I know it was the focus. But this is a uh, two ohm coil head here. And you can see it's got the uh, little bitty slots. These look more like one millimeter slots now, since it's a little bit bigger. And then it's got a little bit different of a bottom to it, too, where I think that allows additional airflow. So, and then of course, you can see down on the inside there, you can see your coils. Now this comes with a uh, different style beauty ring. This is like more of a, a straight look. So like if you have an e battery, you can uh, make it all line up flush. Because this particular type of clarimizer, get it out of the box there and just drop shit on the floor too at the same time. Uh, there we go. Comes with a... Uh, the like the standard 510 connection now as you can see there that's the bottom of the same coil head that allows more airflow into the coil and this is pretty much what the tank looks like so a drip tip on this one unscrews so your regular 510 drip tips are not going to be compatible with this claramizer however the nice thing about this is, is that you can fill this tank from the top side which we will do once we've gone over it. So you can unscrew the top. And that piece comes out. And there's your, basically your top piece. As you can see there's a couple of grommets there. And then this piece here actually screws into the coil head. So that the coil head doesn't slip around. And, you know, I'm starting to think that's probably what they meant by double leak proof because that secures the coil head. So, set that to the side there. And this piece here just basically slides out. A couple of more grommets there. Here's the uh, coil head that comes with the claramizer already installed. So, see there what that looks like. 
your, your most of your airflow on this one is going to come through there's a couple of uh, one mil holes there on the uh, base of the 510 there's one there and there's the other one Now this does uh, this part here does come apart too. Um, as you can see, I've already started separating the glass from the outer sheath that holds it in. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it in there because there's no point in taking it out. So now let's put it all back together. Give our coil head here. This in here. Screw that in. And this one we're going to use, what are we going to use? We're going to use, we're going to use Old Fashioned Root Beer by, J, by Red Rock Vapor. So let's put that, let's pre-prime the coil. Now to pre-prime the coil, you're basically just going to take and put two drops. I'm going to put three in this. Then you just want to blow through it. You just want to go. That way it pre-soaks in all the material that's on the inside of the coil. I do that when I use a brand new coil head for a clarimizer. And shit's dropping on the floor again. <clears throat> now we're going to take and put the uh, tank section back on the base there. We're going to screw the top piece back in. You can see there that that's screwing into the uh, coil head. Now we're going to take and fill it from the top side. And to do this, just want to lightly pour it in. You don't want to get anything down that center because if you do that you'll end up flooding the coil head housing. Okay, so now that we've got it filled up we're just going to take and screw the drip tip back on. And now we have everything secure. So we've got a completely full clarimizer because it's been filled from the top side. And you've now completed the H7 clarimizer by Horizon E6. So let's go back up to main view. And we'll see how it vapes. Hey, and welcome back to Main View. So I have it on my Ola X by MJ Tech, and there, there it is, right there in all its glory. That's a pretty nifty looking tank. Two giant viewing windows. You can fill it from the top side. It's just too bad you can't use a different style drip tip because this one screws down in place. And uh let's see what it performs like. We're going to start it out 3.5 like I did the uh, H9. Okay. Now see I've got my uh, old fashioned root beer in this by uh, Red Rock Beaver. So let's, uh, let's give it another go. Yeah, the airflow on this one is really tight. Really tight. Um, jump this up to four. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Now we're getting the, uh, the burny taste. So, here's where... 
the problem comes into play when you don't have enough airflow into your cool head. So I'm going to take off the beauty adapter that comes with it. We're going to see if that helps in any. I have my doubts because the old tried and true um, way of having these have airflow by having the uh, airflow ducts on the 510 connection just never seemed to work right in the past with other companies. So let's turn this back down to 3.5. Let's prime it a little bit. Now I'm not even seeing. Okay, now I see a few bubbles. Okay, so we've got it primed. Let's see how it beeps this time. Nope. Nope. Okay, so the H7 definitely has problems. Um, you know, it vaped good for the first couple of pulls, but um, it doesn't, you're not get. it's not getting enough airflow. So, Horizon, this is a nice looking tank, but this one here needs to go back to the drawing board. So, I gotta give it an epic fail. Um, I mean, I don't know what more I can say about it, so... But, if you fancy trying out any of their other products, you can always go to www horizon e sigcom and here you can find them on Facebook. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube, and as always, my peeps and peepets, happy vaping.